on September 10th, 1942, in room 405 Jones Hall at the University of Chicago, a tiny measured volume of plutonium nitrate solution was drawn from a microcone. Thus began the first successful weighing of pure plutonium accomplished by a team of microchemists under the direction of Glenn Seaborg. These unprecedented chemical techniques with the artificially produced element plutonium were performed by Burris Cunningham, Lewis Werner, and Michael Cefala. In these highly magnified pictures, the plutonium nitrate was very carefully deposited onto the platinum weighing pan. Only very small quantities of the man-made plutonium had been isolated by the nuclear bombardment of hundreds of pounds of uranium in cyclotrons at Berkeley and St. Louis. The plutonium nitrate solution was allowed to evaporate at room temperature. The sample was heated in a burner oven to convert it into plutonium oxide, the chemical state of the element used in weighing. The weighing pan with the almost indiscernible plutonium oxide sample was then carefully transferred to an aluminum cradle resting on the arm of the micro manipulator. The quartz fiber balance used in weighing was designed and built by Burris Cunningham. It consisted of a very thin quartz fiber anchored at one end and glass enclosed to protect it from air currents. When the plutonium sample was suspended from the balance arm, the bending of the quartz fiber was carefully measured. Using this measurement, and having determined the weight of the cradle and the weighing pan, the exact weight of the plutonium was calculated. These historic microchemical techniques determined the weight of the plutonium sample to be exactly 2.77 micrograms.